Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's been forever since I posted anything. I'm going to try to not let that happen again. Um, but today we're coming back and we're going to look at this uh, cargo plane, cargo drop plane, I guess, um, that I just got done building. Uh, to go over some of the specs, it has a motor E-Flight 15 in it. And that provides plenty of power. I was very surprised at how much power it had. Um, it has a 35 amp ESC, which is on the inside here, right in there. I also have 9 gram servos all the way around. Um, right now for FPV, I'm doing a Mobius right there. Um, I hope in the future maybe to put a FPV pan and tilt on it, but I'm not really sure how that's going to go. And then down here, I have a Run Cam Sky Plus, which gives excellent FPV video. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's a super simple design. It's kind of designed like the other ones that I've built, except I have a fuselage that isn't curved. It's got four walls, basically, and that's how the whole thing is set up. So it's pretty simple um if anybody wants dimensions then i can send you a picture with dimensions on it and then oh for control i have an easy uhf module on the back of my tyrannus right here and um oh battery battery it's running a 4000 milliamp three cell and i have a feeling with this motor i could go probably up to 8000 milliamps it's in there and it's really, the CG is all the way back because it's a cargo drop plane. So if I wanted to drop um, a lot of stuff, then I could get the center of gravity right with that. So the battery is all the way in the back so that I can uh, adjust as I need. So I'm gonna uh, fly this for you, see how it goes. I don't have my cameraman today. So I'm not gonna drop anything. If I did have him here, I could have dropped stuff. But next time, uh, next Friday, when I release the next video, hopefully I can have a video on us dropping stuff and him filming. So here's some fly footage from this plane. So you can see what happened. I have a bad habit of letting my wings, cause I don't put spars in it. I just put a lot of foam in there so that it doesn't bend. But apparently I didn't put enough foam in here this time. And yeah, so it was all the way over here in that field, but I came and got it. Basically the wing just folded. This is not the Maiden. I'd flown it several times before and it had worked fine. Um, but obviously the wing folded this time. The foam obviously was not strong enough, so it just folded right in half. And being a 60 inch wingspan, it has a lot of room to fold. So the damage, I probably am not gonna fix this. It's not that big of a deal um, because it is foam board, so it gives me the opportunity to take the parts off and work on something else. Plus this firewall right here, I can put on something else super easily, so. Yeah, stinks, but that's the love of doing foam board because it's only three dollars worth of foam board. So I got it all on video, um, so that was good. So hopefully next week, if I don't fix this, which I doubt I will, because that's kind of unfixable, unless I just build another fuselage, but I probably won't. So I'm going to come back next week with probably something new. Probably, we'll see. Also, guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, Hopefully I plan to release one every week. I know I've said that several times, but I'm gonna keep trying. Um, hopefully this time I can actually stick to that. We'll see though. So subscribe, comment if you have any suggestions. I know not putting a spar was a stupid idea, but you know. Thanks for watching guys, uh, see you next time.